Hi guys. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, teacher. My hair is messy. I'm sorry. How are you guys? How are you guys? New look. Yes, a little <laughs> bit. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for being on time. It is Monday. So allow me one moment. I wasn't expecting so many of you to be um, already here so early. So thank you, Ale. Thank you, Milkar, Mario, Nestor, Rita, for being Good night, very on time, before time. And happy Monday. so happy Monday, guys. How was your weekend? Yes. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. That's correct. Allow me one moment, guys. But see, where are my? Where are they? Okay, that's fine. So, how was your weekend, guys? Today is today. Today is uh, November 9th. Yeah, today is November 9th. Okay, thank you. You're very kind with me. Of course. Allow me just one moment, guys. En lo que esperamos que se unen los demás. How were your weekends? ¿Cómo estuvieron sus fines de semana? It was very nice, very excellent. Very good. <clears throat> okay. How was your weekend, teacher? Okay, here they are. Oh, I had lost my earphones, but I found them. So give me just one moment. We are just waiting for the rest to join. It's eight with one minute. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I talk less and less. In it in Spanish. No sé si ya lo notaron, pero les voy a ir hablando menos y menos en español. There's a okay. program for me. Awesome. So Marjorie just okay. joined. And let's see. I've had a very busy day today, guys. So I'm really glad to be here with you today. So Hello. that we can, hi, so that we can begin with section four. We are today starting section four, and that means we are going to be reviewing power foods or the food pyramid or pyramid. So uh do you guys um well let me ask you so what are your favorite foods what's your favorite food um nestor i'm sorry um uh, no escuché bien. <laughs> that's okay what's your favorite food um Soup. Soup. I favorite soup. Soup. Excellent. Thank you very much. And what is your favorite food, Mario? Uh, chicken. Chicken. That's great. Chicken's great. I like chicken too. And what's your favorite food, Marjorie?
Lou. Uh, Rita, what's your favorite food? Chicken. Ah, some chicken too. Chicken's popular. And what would be your favorite food, Ali? Kind of food. Uh, I, I, yeah. China. Chinese food. That's ah, great. Chinese. Okay, yeah, okay. Chinese, Chinese. food. Okay, really good. thank you. ¿Y cómo se diría? China, Chinese food? Yeah, Chinese food. Oh, okay, thank you. That is Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Amilcar, what's your favorite food? Mm. I like uh, chicken, I like uh, meat, uh, I like soup, I like uh, fish, but uh, I like uh, chicken more. Awesome. Yeah, chicken's great. And what would be your favorite food, Briselda? Um, my favorite food is pupusas. No sé si sería. Yeah, pupusas. <laughs> pupusas. Great. Awesome. Pupusas are great. I had pupusas for dinner today. And let's see, what would be your favorite food, Veronica? Hi, my favorite food. I'm sorry. My favorite um, is pizza. No sé si se dice. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. That's great. Pizza's really good. I love pizza too. Thank you, Veronica. And let's see. And what would be your favorite food, Alejandra Ayala? My favorite food is Mexican. Mexican. It's really good. I love tacos. Yes. And let's see. What would be your favorite food, Cecilia? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, Hi, my, evening. my food is hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburgers. I love burgers as well. <laughs> yes. I love hamburgers or burgers. And let's see. Okay, guys. So I am now going to go ahead and share my screen with you. As you can see, we are starting with section four today. And the name of this section is Broccoli is Good for You because we are going mm -hmm. to be talking all about foods and the food, uh, the food pyramid and all things related to food and for example, how to measure it, como medirlo. We are going to see about countables and non-countables, um, countable and non-countable foods um, and how we can measure those specifically countables with numbers, las que son contables, pues se cuentan. And we are going to see how to measure those that are not countable or non-countable. And then we are going to be reading a conversation. We are right in the middle of the module, guys. Estamos justo en el medio del módulo. Bueno, ya pasamos la mitad del módulo y ya solo nos quedan estas dos sections in the final exam, which would be next week. So we are just getting started. And let's see. As 4.1, como primer punto, tenemos the food pyramid. And the food pyramid says that for good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein, and eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. So, um, guys, do you see anything here that you didn't um, well, it has images, right? Tiene imágenes. Pero ven alguna palabra que 
you don't know or you're not sure about how to pronounce, que vean y no sepan cómo pronunciar, e igualmente vamos a ver más vocabulario después de ver esta food pyramid. La lechuga. Oh, ok, so lo vamos a ir encerrando, ok? So lechuga is this. Here you go. That is lettuce. Lettuce. Thank you. Lettuce. 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 Yes. Lettuce. 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 Yes. Lettuce. Like, um, like lettuce. Queso. Queso. Um, cheese. Cheese. That's correct. Cheese. 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 Ah, okay. Oh, las papas. That's correct. That's potatoes. ¿Cómo? Potatoes. 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 That's correct. Yes. Potatoes, guys. Teacher, y lo que está arriba de la pasta, que es. Lo que. Oh, those are noodles. Okay, so um, you have pasta noodles and you have ramen noodles and you have um, all sorts of noodles so noodles es la palabra para la pasta cuando está cruda para como le decimos para fideos es más o menos la palabra de fideo noodles so podríamos decir teacher como macarrones yeah yeah lo que pasa es de que por ejemplo pueden ser um, Pueden ser spaghetti noodles, pueden ser soup noodles, pueden ser, por ejemplo, ramen noodles, los del ramen, los de la comida china. Um, y así, entonces no necesariamente macarrones, right? But, yeah, fideos. Noodles se, se pronuncia. Noodles, yes. Noodles, noodles. Okay. Noodles. Excelente. Okay. Okay. No, no, no sale, pero el aguacate, ¿cómo se dice? Lo he escuchado cómo avocado. se escribe, pero no cómo se pronuncia. Avocado o avocado. Avocado, yes. Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. Avocado. Gracias. La, la última se ve como R, ¿verdad? Avocado. Avocado. Okay. Well, yeah. Avocado. Okay. Please, 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 no digamos avocado. Please, let's not say that. Uh, avocado. Avocado, yeah. Y arroz, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Rice. 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 That would be rice. rice. Yes. Rice. Uh, okay. Rice. Excellent. ¿Qué otra okay. palabra, guys? Teacher, beans. Yep. Beans. That's correct. Those are beans. Yes. Beans. Sí, lo que está a la par de beans, eh, no lo logro distinguir. Es... Fish. Ah, fish. Fish. Yeah. No, This one. No, no, no parece pescado. <laughs> Oh, well, that's because it's um, uh, yeah, it's not the aloha or like a slice of fish, uh, because um, in the United States, that's mostly how they're going to be eating it, porque sobre todo comen pescado de agua dulce, right? So they don't eat the whole fish, sino que siempre lo hacen en filete. No, es, es bien raro ver que sirven el pescado entero. How do you say aloha? A uh, fillet, uh, ah. like this. Fillet. Mm, filete. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre beef y meat? All right. And, um, yeah. All right. So beef is res. And meat, you can have pork meat, carne de cerdo, uh, beef meat, uh, chicken meat, es toda la carne, todo lo que es carne es meat. And then beef uh, okay. es res. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. And saliendo de ese tema, 
you guys will also be able to listen to this sentence. Puede que lleguen a escuchar esta oración. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. Eat your greens. And eat your greens means all of the vegetables, right? Todos los vegetales. Eat your greens. ¿Cómo se pronuncia piña, teacher? Oh, that's pineapple. Pineapple, that's correct. Pineapple. Gracias. Of course. Teacher, y pan es bread, ¿verdad? Así se pronuncia bread. Bread, that's correct, yes. Bread. Y eso, crackers, ¿qué es? Crackers are cookies, for example. Um, the, yeah, galletas, the salty cookies most of the time. So uh, cookies are um, mostly going to be referred to as como los chocolate chip, sugar cookies, las galletas dulces, and then crackers, las galletas saladas most of the time. Ah, okay, gracias. Of course. All right, guys, so I also have this vocabulary for you today. Allow me one moment. And let's see. Very well. Are you guys able to see this? Um, no, I don't think you are. Can you see this image? Yes. Awesome. So, is there any vocabulary, guys, that you didn't know or que no reconozcan de aquí? Biscuits. Mm. All right. So, biscuits, uh, these are pronounced biscuits. Biscuits. And biscuits, um, Vaya, ya dijimos que cookies son como las galletas dulces. They're um, very sweet. And then the crackers are savory, right? Son saladas, son savory. Eso es importante. Aquí, sweet, dulce, right? And savory son las comidas saladas. Podemos decir que salty, pero es que si decimos que salty, está, estamos diciendo que algo está salado, está pasado de salado. So, para decir que algo no es dulce, sino que es salado, pero no es que esté demasiado salado, sino que simplemente, pues, salado, um, decimos que es savory, 